Hi, my name is Alina. I am 23 years old and I graduated from the IB at the Atene back in 2016 and I'm going to be answering some questions. So um, for the first question, how did the IB shape my future studies? So as I was growing up, because I'm still growing up, but as I was growing up back in primary school, back in secondary school, I was very much encouraged by my family that you know, it would make my family super proud if I were to pursue a career in medicine and become a medical doctor or, you know, be in the field of medicine in general. Um, and so <laughs> by these expectations, I just sort of um, ended up boxing myself into these expectations. And I thought I just saw tunnel vision and all I wanted to do was medicine, or at least that's what I thought. Um, and I couldn't imagine I couldn't imagine myself in any other career um pursuits other than medicine and um no matter how unreflective um my strengths and weaknesses were in terms of my grades uh you know in the context of medicine um i i thought you know i i was almost delusional i think borderline it was it was delusion um because i couldn't I couldn't intellectually break myself out of this box that I was in um, because I thought that this is the only way. And um, I learned, uh, it was generally only after joining the IB that I learned that, you know, what are my interests? Uh, what do I actually like to do? And um, how can I actually pursue the things that I like to do? And so it was genuinely only after I joined the IB that I, I started to think, you know, hmm, uh, maybe medicine isn't really the right thing for me. <laughs> uh, even though it's a very fulfilling career path, for sure, it just wasn't the right thing for me. And I, it, it really helped me see clarity and it helped me. Um, it The IB basically clawed, like it crawled me or like pulled me out of that, um, that cage that I was in into thinking that medicine is the only way that I can have a fulfilling career um, because that's so wrong and I think when you are so young like when you're 16 17 you 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 think that you know everything there is to know and at the same time you know you don't and I think what the IB generally did for me in my future studies it, it helped me see the bigger picture for myself and it helped me see that there are other things that you can do and it just it just helped me grow i think that's the that's the biggest thing the ib shaped my growth um and it helped me make decisions for myself and you know think critically about the decisions that i have to make um so which leads me to to the next question which is why would i recommend the international classes at the atene um and i mean i sort of alluded to this earlier as well but the the biggest thing that the ib gave to me um all those years uh it's a sense of autonomy and it taught me um, this it gave me a hint of what independence can be and um, it wasn't just independence but it was also confidence um, and it helped me think be more secure in the decisions that I make and you know be 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 strong in the decisions that I make and be able to stand up for myself essentially um, and it it really I think what people need to consider is that when you're in your fundamental years like primary school and secondary school it's it's the the way what you are taught is important but it's also the way you're taught um because whatever happens at school it's it's literally that's it that that's your life for so many years um students go to like pupils and, and students you, you go to school um for literally the whole day and then you come back home and you start to do homework so it, it definitely it, it it is your it's a massive part of your life and and that's undeniable um so the way you are taught and what you do at school it bleeds into other parts of your life into your social life into your personal life into your family life as well um so if you are taught in an educational sense you know making important decisions for yourself um you know making decisions you know, that really are your decisions. And, you know, you need to make decisions about the projects that you want to do at school, or you want, you need to, you know, arrange yourself so that you manage to get something in on time due to deadlines, etc. These are decisions that you're making for yourself. And you, this, the act of choosing and the act of making decisions, it bleeds into your personal life. And so it shapes so many other things. And 
for me, it helped me, you know, be more independent and, you know, be able to um, be more confident in the decisions that I make also in front of like my friends or in front of my family um, and hopefully also in my career. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if I had a memory to share, um, I honestly, I, I really can't think of like one singular memory that's that really sticks out as like a, a brilliant thing that happened. Um, but I honestly think one of the, the best that I had, I, I personally think I had one of the most fulfilling high school experiences um, because you hear so many horror stories about high school experiences where people got bullied and people, you know, had a really tough time with their professors and teachers and etc. or like someone in their school or someone in their class. But I generally had a very fulfilling high school experience and I need to give credit where credit is due and it's it's to the teachers. I, by the end of the, by the end of the two years that you have to do for IB, you generally you're not seen as a pupil anymore by your by your teachers you're seen as a by most of your teachers you really are seen as like an adult and as a as a person that can as, as a person I think that's the best way to put it you're seen as a person and I'm eternally grateful for the happy memories um that I had in IB uh, but most of them were you know like involving more uh, informal instances uh, with um, fellow IB students or IB kids in other classes or um, you know my own class uh, peers um, but yeah I'm eternally grateful and uh, thank you so much for listening and um, yep bye <laughs>